Hello YouTube and welcome back to Talk Liberty, the show for libertarian news and ideas. Okay, I'm just going to jump right into this one. I only have one story today, but I'm going to go through the steps because I walked into the story and I knew I was going to with a biased point of view. So in order to report on this non-biasedly, I stepped back, crunched some numbers, and just let the math talk. So... Uh, I will cite my work in the comments below along with my links and I will about to walk you through all the steps I took and no matter what my bias is for or against it these numbers can't lie just saying they were off the bat okay so the story was that the Fed uh, expands Operation Twist by 267 billion dollars through 2012 Okay, and I started reading through the article and it started quoting a bunch of interest rates. And honestly, I am going to school for electrical engineering. I was first a math major, so I understand this kind of stuff. And it was, some of it was really trying to slip past me. I was having to read over and over and, and just losing myself in this article. Uh, basically, getting flashed with a bunch of numbers. So, I read, I read all through and I said, my libertarian views, I guess, said Federal Reserve, that's the agency responsible for inflating the dollar. That's their government job. So, uh, as I was reading through, I did come across these two little blurbs in there, and I, I want to read them to you. And then I'll show you the work I did. Okay, the blurbs say... Uh, today's Fed statement and policymaker projections show that there is a little concern that, excuse me, projections show that there is little concern over inflation. Inflation has declined, mainly reflecting lower prices of crude oil and gasoline, and long-term inflation expectations have remained stable. The Fed said oil prices have stumbled have slumped, excuse me, 23% to $84.03 a barrel yesterday since reaching a high of $109.77 a barrel in February. Okay, so I was reading through that and I said, okay, I have an idea how to solve this. So I went to Wikipedia and found out a little bit more about exactly what the twist operation was and basically uh, it has to do with the Fed trying to control interest rates by taking short-term loans and selling them and using the money to invest in long-term loans. That is, as far as I understood it correctly, that is correct as far as I understood it. I'm sorry, I'm so excited I can't talk today. Um, if anyone knows otherwise or can expand on that more, please feel free to comment. I am as interested as anyone. But here's the work I did do. There is a website called Wolfram Alpha. If you have not seen it, I suggest you check it out. And I suggest you get the paid version. Uh, you're going to get better calculations and be able to pull the graphs off and all kinds of cool stuff. But, I went in there and I typed in, first thing I typed in was inflation US dollar. And it gave me results spanning from 1914 to present. Okay. So I knew that that was my sample space I could work in. I then typed in inflation US dollar 1914 to 1962 and again all, all this stuff I typed in everything will be in the comments below so you can go through copy and paste it and check it out. Um, and it came back with a 204 percent inflation from that point to that point. Now another thing you're going to notice when you look at the graph up to the point in 1962, inflation is just crazy. It goes up and down, and and all kind. Of, and there's actually deflation, which I didn't know that was a real thing in America. I've never seen deflation in my life, but it just it, it it's real unstable. And then when you go past 1962, it becomes real stable, above zero percent. So seeing as how it was so hard to tell where inflation was before then, uh, this is the process I took. So I found that that from 1914 to 1962 there's a 204% inflation good I then took 1962 and subtracted 1914 from it I got 48 years so that is a 48 year span 
I then went to www.1728.org slash c-o-m-p-i-n-t dot htm which basically it is a compound interest calculator and you can calculate any part of compound interest either your principal your rate your total um, or your years so I told it to calculate my interest rate and I told it to calculate it on a con a continuous uh, compound, uh, uh, continuously compound, and if you don't know what that means, uh, you can have your interest rate compounded yearly. So let's say you had a 50% interest rate. You start off with a dollar, and you compound it yearly. After a year, you're going to have a dollar fifty, and then after um, two years, you comp you, you compound that dollar. The, the entire dollar fifty. So now you're going to add seventy five cents to that, so you're gonna have two dollars twenty five cents. Whereas if you compound it uh, semi annually, which is twice a year, the first time you compound it at six months, you compound it at twenty five percent, so you then have a dollar twenty five. The second time you compound it at twenty five percent again, so after that first year, you now have. Um, a dollar and fifty six point two five cents anyway you get a little bit more for e the, the shorter periods of time that you compounded so I went to continuous compound because that's really in my mind and again correct me if I'm wrong I'm not a finance major the way that uh, inflation would have to work it's always inflating on, on itself um, over these long periods of time anyway I typed all that in and I got that before twist started, um, we were having an average interest rate of 1.4853, call it 1.5%. Fair enough. I then did the same process. When I typed in inflation US dollar 1962 to 2012 in Wolfram Afra, I got 666%. I subtracted the years, I got it was a span of 50 years. I then typed in these exact same things. Oh, and, and by the way, my principal was 1 because I expected that we started at 100% um, or with 1, 100% of what we started, and then we got to 2.04. Um, so, uh, uh, and my years are 48. So, Principles one, years forty eight, total is two point oh four, because we had two hundred four percent inflation rate. So I went went to that same website again, principal one again, years fifty, total is six point six six. Total to calculate, I got three point seven nine two two, call it three point eight. So what I'm seeing is, and this is just from the numbers and and if someone has a better explanation of why all of a sudden at the same time twist started that uh, uh, in that inflation steadied out at a higher rate please explain it to me I would love to know this reason but there was no twist inflation you know was unstable sometimes we have deflation sometimes we have inflation as I would expect to see in a country or in, in anywhere I mean sometimes Things are happening in the market to make the dollar increase, but sometimes they're going to have to make a decrease to keep it stable. In my mind, that just makes logical sense. But, um, we had that. Then we create this agency that's supposed to stabilize it. And they stabilize it at an average rate that's more than double what it was before. Um, so... The all-knowing government looks at these numbers. I, I have to. I have to believe, if some college kid with a, a YouTube vlog can see this new story and do all this, that somebody in Washington has done the same thing, or an analyst. They have to know. I, I will not believe they're that ignorant. They look at these numbers and realize, yes, yes, this program has more than doubled inflation. So they decide to expand it. S somebody, please, uh, explain to me the logic of this, because right now my mind is about to explode. 
anyway, that, that's all I got for you today. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, please, I, I want to hear all kinds of comments about this. Why um, the inflation rate has doubled. Uh, uh, if you have any better understanding of um, Twist or if you want to critique my work, uh, please, any of that. I, I would love to hear uh, from someone who's a little bit more knowledgeable on the subject than I am. Um, but this this is crazy. This is irresponsible. It, it's like they don't even care anymore. I'm not sure they ever did. Um, anyway, I'm going to let you go for I, I keep on ranting about this. But uh, please share this video. I, I want everyone to see what the Fed is doing to this country. Thank you.